Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Insanity's Blade for the PC! This is brought to you by GameAnyone.com Now, I've been thinking of games to do, like, well, for Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, considering this is a Monday, and I didn't even have a project confirmed yet. And after going through my Steam list, I was thinking, oh, you know what, I got this game some while ago, and I never even finished it. I've only played, like, through, like, a half hour of it, just to see what the game was like, and needless to say, I was very impressed. So, why don't we get started on a new campaign, shall we? I will do it on normal mode. And how to play, I'm not gonna bother with that, because, well, there's only three buttons you need to worry about. Can I skip this? I think I should be able to... Maybe I can't skip it yet. Oh, there we go. Insanity's Blade, Book 1, The Chronicles of Thurston. A once highly regarded knight of the Royal Guard, Thurston no longer saw eye to eye with his new king's actions and was granted leave from his post. He had settled down to raise a family in a village not far from his old kingdom in the case that his services would ever be needed again. He had spent many a happy year with his wife and son there until now. On the eve of his village's harvest festival, Thurston was tasked by the village chief to gather extra food for the festivities. On the way back, he sees a bright light over top of his village as if it were on fire. Thurston rushes back only to find his village burning to the ground. Alright, so let's get started, shall we? By the gods! What has happened here? Gah! Arg! Please, not my eyes! They're sensitive! I like my feelings. Oh, we're on stage zero. Hey, what's up? You don't look so good. Thurston! We couldn't hold him back! Your family... ...is dead, just like me. Alright, so... Since I'm using a Logitech 360 controller... And I can't read the signs, by the way. B is jump, A is attack, and X is your grab. So yeah, your grab attack will be very useful in dispatching weak enemies, especially enemies that are just a tiny bit bigger. I mean, right now, I don't exactly have a ranged attack, but you do gain experience in this game. Like, the throw moves you have are pretty cool. And I think they're based on, like, what you are able to, like, hold in what direction. Did I just pick up, like, a severed arm? Hey, come here, I want to hug! Fine, don't hug me. You can just go to the left, because there's an invisible wall, and you will die. Wow, a severed arm beats a sword. Explain that. <laughs> Holy shit, I am just destroying these guys! And apparently you can grab walls. Oh, at level 2, you're able to throw daggers. Uh, let's try going up first, to see what happens. Seems like they're split paths. So that in itself is pretty cool for some replay value. That there must be a checkpoint, by the way. Oh, man. Fireballs are coming out of the sky are very annoying. Because you may not be able to telegraph them right away. And by the time you do, it could be too late. Enemies with shields, I would definitely recommend using your grab attack. Because it's practically an insta-kill move. Oh yeah, I just did a backbreaker against a guy that's pretty much all back now. Alright, I guess we're going down now. Alright, I saved you guys. Go on, get out of here. Okay, let's see. Pressing star allows you to go to Continue on, or you can go to the quit the title. Pressing select allows you to see your inventory, which right now we obviously don't have anything except the dagger and a little bit of bloodlust. That's pretty much all we got to our name. Well, I definitely try to do all the quests. Well, I'll make a an honest effort. I can't guarantee I will, but I'll certainly try. Oh, bats are in this game, too. My lucky day. Okay, the pink potion just gives you a nice bit of health. You'll also find some bread. 
I'll give you a little bit. I was bred to eat bread in this game. Come on, don't you loaf my bread puns? They're to ride for. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of jumping the shark there with my puns. Holla, if you hear me. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. Like, seriously, I'm bun for. <laughs> as long as I don't actually die, that would be bad. Hi, what's up? Do you like my puns? No? Okay, I guess I'll just kill you now. The weakness, of course, is the uh, gem. Okay, so the fists don't even need to punch to hurt you. Okay, just a little bit more and this boss should be dead. event. That must have hurt. Thrown through a building from the demon's blast, Thurston attempted to raise himself out of the rubble and corpses of his fallen friends and comrades, only to stumble forward, much too weak to move. As he fades into unconsciousness, he hears his family screaming for him as they are slaughtered and burned alive by the great demon. He had failed, and all he could hope for was to join them in death very soon. But to his great misfortune, this would not come to pass. Thurston awakens to the cold rain that was now putting out the smoldering remains of his house and the surrounding buildings. He lifted the burning remains of his beloved wife and child and carried them to a spot on top. On top of the hill where only yesterday they happily watched the sunset together. And together they would watch it once again for the last time. And those raindrops look very large. Alright, so, you know what, I'm gonna save over my save file right there. We only got 3% of the game done. Just press start, I guess, right now. And then we can go on to chapter 1, Den of the Dragon Master. It looks like we only have one stage to choose from, but these are the other chapters. Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and Chapter 4. Are these the only chapters so far? Like, only four chapters? Uh, let's take a look at the overworld. Maybe they'll actually expand it. Who knows? It seems like there could be more than just four chapters. Oh well. Anyways, you got main levels, you have mandatory quests, but you also have optional quests. I guess depending on what you find in the game, you can actually open your way to more levels. Many months later, rumors had spread that Thurston was a madman accused of even causing the very destruction of his town. In a town not so far from where Thurston had once lived, it was all the patrons of a lowly pub were whispering about. The story of demons burning down the town was a likely story they could not believe, but an old dwarf named Finn argued and defended the story to be true until his drink was no longer powering his words. He stumbled out of the bar, barely standing, when a murder thief sneaks up behind him, pressing a knife to his throat. The thief demanded coins, which Finn had drank away, but before the thief could bury his knife into Finn's throat, Thurston appeared out of the shadows, grabbing the thief by the back of his head. Thurston thrust the thief's head into the hard, rocky ground, shattering like a melon on impact, even though it was only one thief. Finn passed out from the ordeal, and Thurston took him away to his camp. When Finn awoke, he was startled to find himself in the company of the very man he had just been defending at the pub. Thurston told Finn the story of what had happened that day, how the town was destroyed by demons, and that the blast somehow changed him. He explained that now, he loses all control and sensibility at the strangest of times. Touched by the loss Thurston had endured, Finn agreed to help him, suggesting they seek out the help of a sage he knew. They set out on the journey, but something was amiss. It was the undead who were lurking and stalking the forest outside of the camp. Well, I suppose that thief is now part of the undead now. <laughs> or not. Press up on the store and buy ye a weapon upgrade. Here's a gift to help you on your way. 
Um, cool, I guess. I only have 10 seconds to decide. Uh, I guess I'm taking a three-way. Oh man, these items are so expensive. Huh, 5,000 for a one-up? I don't know what that is about Finn, but I'm guessing he's just there for multiplayer. Cause I mean, there is two-player option in this game. Here, I'll pick up a torch, why not? Hey, frog. Oh, shit! <laughs> that frog just disintegrated on impact! Okay, so that you can drop a weapon that way. That's cool. Hey, bear. What's up? Your death count. That's what's up. I'm going to assume that water will kill you. So, obviously, don't go in the water. Oh, I get to ride like a green skeleton. Oh, that was a weird glitch. I just grabbed the skeleton out of nothing. That made no sense. Obviously, the wolves are going to be a problem because they come at you so fast. And you may not be able to prepare for them fast enough. You can attack while climbing, which is pretty nice. At least you will not be defenseless while you're trying to get places. I <laughs> exploded right to the wall. Okay, it's a good idea to grab as much money as possible. Because, well, obviously you are going to need it to buy some more good upgrades. I would imagine you can, like, revisit more levels. Whoa! Okay. Trying to sneak up on me, I don't appreciate that. Oh, that guy got stuck in the thorns. What an idiot. Okay, that was kind of cheap. Just bring a zombie right below me that I can't even defend myself. He just bounced off the wall! Is that like a zombie ant? What the hell, man? This is so weird. But it's so cool a game so far. Can't do anything about those corpses hanging on the ceiling. So I guess we just gotta leave them be. Well, I mean, they're already dead, so I don't think we're gonna complain that much. I wonder if the gems also give you money. I would imagine they should. Ah, oh, that bear. Oh, you can grab bears. But you don't really get much of a grab attack from them. Got two lots of bread. Nice. I love bread puns. Okay, I have already used that one. Alright. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, damn. Alright, so far so good. Got another save point. Do you die if you run out of time? I'm going to assume you do. Also be a good idea to kill every single enemy you can, because the experience will definitely help you out. I don't know what max level is, but maybe we'll find out. I mean, this doesn't seem like a game that you would need to be max level right away in order to actually do well. Keep in mind, I said well, not good. Because I feel like it's so easy to get the two mixed up. Doing good means you're doing, like, nice things. Doing well means you're actually performing higher than you wanted to. That thing just exploded instantly. Oh, I leveled up. Hopefully this upgrade for, like, throwing three daggers at once is permanent. Until I get the five way. Then we're gonna be cooking with gas. Especially against big enemies. And you can actually hit, like, with five blades. Upon leaving the forest, Thurston and Finn found the entrance to a cave. Finn told the story of the mining community that once existed here, and that they kept giants in the mountains as slaves, and dragons as pets. But it was long abandoned. It would be faster to reach the city if we could cut through the mountain. It could cut days off of the journey, Finn exclaimed. 
Thurston agreed to take the mountain pass. And that's all there was to it. Alright. So, I guess we're moving on to the next level. In the forest, there lies a forgotten keep and a king just as forgotten. The key to the cave ruins lays within his grasp. Destroy him and get the key. Save us all! Oh, so this is the cavern of ruins right here. Oh, okay, obviously I don't want to, like, uh, just drop down all the way. Because apparently there are spikes. And obviously spikes will kill you. We don't want to die now, do we? I mean, obviously these zombies are not having a good time dead. So how do you think I'm going to feel? I don't make that beautiful a corpse yet. <laughs> I just knocked that it right down. Oh, you can climb this stuff, too. I was trying to do that, it wouldn't work. Oh, I thought that was a secret passage. Because the way it was all lit up. Yeah, obviously I'm going to be taking my sweet-ass time making those big drops. Otherwise, my life will drop. I certainly don't want that. Okay, the, uh, crystals do give you money as well. Nice. Money is good. I need lots of money. At least I don't have to pay for a family anymore because, well, they're dead. Therefore, I should have a little bit more money later on. Hi. Are you a boss? You moved, didn't you? It's ready to fight. Okay, I can still use my grab attack. Whoa, he just did a lot of damage to me. Did I just throw him into the spikes? Oh. That's what I had to do. And I get to full health instantly. Quest item. myself a new kick-ass thing. Okay, that's the main level. Yeah, and then we can go to this one. We can't go to that one, but we can go to this one, which is an optional quest. We can't go back to the first level? Uh, let's try uh, the optional level, shall we? We still got time. I hear the leader of the Black Tiger Division fell near the entrance to the cave ruins. He poses... Uh, he possessed a mighty weapon called Cock Puncher. He had a terrible hatred of roosters. Oh my god, that's a weird name. Wait, what did he say? Fell near the entrance to the cave ruins. Okay, he possessed a mighty weapon called Cock Puncher and a terrible hatred of roosters. Okay. I can't... Oh, now I can skip the dialogue. Oh, I guess I was supposed to come back here. When entering the cave, the pair of adventurers realized that it was a grave mistake, but they saw no point in turning back. The undead wandered the cave past, too, but these corpses were not fresh like in the forest. Dried skin clung to dusty bone that creaked and rattled as they moved by some magical force. Thurston... What, Thurston? Thurston and Finn prepared for battle. Clearly there are some spelling errors in this game. Even misspelling the main character. All of a sudden we're back in uh, stage two. Hi. Across the river lies a forgotten keep. Tread lightly, my son. Oh, there's a platform over here. Oh yeah, this game is definitely very framey because of all the fog. But I got a kick-ass sword now. Oh, I wanted to get that. Is this an optional path? I don't know. Uh, there might be spikes up here. Yep, there was. Maybe this is where I gotta go to uh, get this uh, rare weapon. Hey! Is this it? That's a 
new sword. Well, yeah, that does more damage. That's actually pretty cool. Let's, let's continue on this path, shall we? This might actually be a good idea. Secret paths will also be the hardest. Okay, so this is not the uh, quest weapon I was looking for. Oh god! Sorcerers. So they're gonna be a thing in this level now. But at least my sword is actually pretty nice. Even though when I throw my daggers, they do not do extra damage, it's only melee range that's gonna do. I am noticing is that uh, whatever I pick up, or at least uh, drops, they do not stay on the ground very long. Oh. oh. Is that supposed to remind me that something is nearby? Maybe that's what it was. I mean, to be fair, I could have figured that out myself. Really. I'm not stupid. That's not cracks in the Uh, maybe I should get skip over here. Oh, finally that sorcerer is dead. Okay, zombies are gonna mummies are gonna keep popping out of those coffins. So I guess I'm better off just going on. Oh you were in the foreground! There, it's dead. Leave me alone. I'm gonna keep going this way. Whether you want me to or not. Okay, this Wizbro ripoff will not get in a sword range. Okay, so I got hit and I lost the uh, other sword. There. The damn sorcerer is dead for now. Probably run into another one soon enough. Okay, so throwing attacks will work against these guys. But they explode before I get the chance to send them far. Not that it's a bad thing. Uh, I feel like there's a passage over here, too. But I can't open it. Oh god, another sorcerer. Okay, I got rid of him. No, I didn't. It's still here. There, now I got rid of it. Uh, that sorcerer is still bothering me. Red floating? Oh, come on. That's not a good spot to pick it up. Does the five second rule still apply for, like, a uh, food that is just levitating? I mean, there's dust in the air. <laughs> God, this is a long ass path. And I definitely feel like this is not a mandatory. Hey, there's a shop! I still don't have a lot of money. I can buy another one off, but why would I do that? God, inflation, I'm telling ya. Okay, what the hell is that thing? Oh god, there's like another one of those faces. This makes me very uncomfortable. Oh god. The further you go, the brighter these faces are. Look at it! There's just like green slime coming out of the t the eyes. Jeez 
Jesus! Okay, where do I go? Oh my god, you have to climb on the heads? Okay, I want that money. It doesn't seem like you go very far when you jump. Like, it seems like you're going to undershoot your jump each time. Why would I go right? Something tells me I'm better off going up. So that seems to be an actual path you can take. Alright, that, that one's dead. Uh, let me go back down. You know, where I can actually see the floor. Otherwise, I'd be very uncomfortable. Get out of here. Oh, nice. At least health is not a sore spot. Oh, God. Okay, low ceilings are definitely a strong advantage against this Jeroni. As soon as there's one low ceiling, he's fucked. The threshold between spikes is a lot shorter now. Okay, I don't like standing here. I really don't. Are there gonna be more spikes? I really hope not. Because I can't really see if like a big spike trap is gonna fall right on top of me. Okay, the dust actually gave it away. It's good to know that I have something to rely on to keep me from dying. Uh, can I climb that? Yes, you can. That's good to know. So I bet you there's a bottomless pit down there or spikes. Spikes. Yeah, extra kill, why not? And it's a bat, so that makes me extra happy. Hello? How long is this level, anyway? Cause it's still going. At least I got extra time. Okay, I did not see any dust around here. So that spike trap could have gotten me. God, how much more is there to this level? Got another mage. Where'd you go? You just disappeared on me. Oh man, a lot of bodies over here. They all fell for the same trap. Not me, though! I'm smarter than those guys. I still got my head. And I'm smarter than those guys, too. I wonder if I can, like, walk past two of them. Yes, I can. Do you have to do this a lot? Okay, I'll just wait right here to be safe. Music is pretty catchy, I'll admit. Oh, that was the last of my trap. Good. Okay, I... I didn't even do, like, an actual grab, and yet it, it still killed him. I should trigger that checkpoint. Now, I can go right, or I can go left. Oh, that guy throw an axe? That's the first time I've actually seen that guy's range attack. Because I was smart enough never to allow it. Again, low ceilings, this guy does not like him. Okay, I feel like I'm just making a big loop back to where 
I started. Maybe I should just continue going right. Something tells me that's the best choice. Oh, I actually have 10,000 gold now! I can buy that 5-way upgrade if I want to. Yeah, I think I'm better off just continuing this path, and there's a boss. Ha 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 ha! You have come a long way just to die, mortal! Yeah, it would have been longer if I kept going left. Uh, what am I fighting? Oh my god, look at that! Okay, I guess I'm not surprised at the, the eye I need to go after. Okay, I'm gonna go over here for safe. Okay, so it just grows big whenever it wants to. Did I shoot a laser? I don't know. Okay, the, those zombies are not nice to me. Oh, it does fire a laser. Okay, that's good to know. Another thing I noticed, it looked like I was barely doing damage to it. You're gonna... Uh, screw you. I'm gonna kill you now. I mean, this is where I need to go. So I find it very strange to give you a boss that takes forever to die. Okay, maybe I should not get in the way of that. On the plus side, at least his minions can sometimes drop health for me. Oh, that laser keeps going. At least it's easy to dodge. And its attack pattern seems pretty repetitive. Like, swing its eye, fire up some zombies, then do the laser attack. Yeah, it looked like it was getting pretty close. All the while dealing with spike traps. I gotta get that eye facing somewhere that I can just get behind him. And not have to worry about the laser. If you stand on the actual spike trap, you pretty much have the best vantage point. Because then you don't even have to jump to, like, hit the eye. Okay, this thing has a lot of HP. But man, that attack pattern. So predictable! Yeah, you definitely cannot stand on that spike trap forever. Eventually it will hit the ceiling and you will get hurt. Possibly die. I've just been fortunate enough to avoid spike traps each time. I don't know what would have happened if I actually hit one. I have the sword! Why did I not equip that? I didn't think I had to re-equip it each time. You know what, that'll probably make the fight a little bit easier now. Oh my god, it makes it so much easier. Yeah, I can actually just melee that eye now. Oh, that's so much better. Just stand over here. Oh my god, the laser is instant kill? Oh, guess I gotta do that whole fight over. I have a quest item? 
Huh, I didn't know I had a quest item. Like that yellow gem. Oh, this thing's almost dead. Yes! Finally! Level up! That's more like it. Ooh, this video is going on for a long ass time. Uh, is something else supposed to happen? <laughs> Having defeated the remains of the Giant King, Finn caught the glimmer of gold shining from a passage behind the giant's head. The tales of the pet dragons were true. Only the dragons were as dead as everything else in the cavern. The dragons were rumored to be charmed under a spell, to be submissive to their masters, and the rumors were indeed true. These dragons are dead, my boy. What good will they be to us? If you have not noticed, dwarf, Everything else around here that that is dead would seem to be moving just fine. Perhaps it just needs a good kick in the head to get it started? Aye, it would seem that I have spoken too soon. Let me guess, we gotta take on a uh, dragon zombie? Hope we're not thrust into another boss battle immediately. Ah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, there's a mission here. Oh, this is the mandatory quest. Alright. Revisit all levels? Doesn't look like you can right yet. If at all. So, we're gonna save. We got 17% of the game beaten, apparently. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna stop here, and in the next part, we'll be continuing on with uh, Insanity's Blade. See everyone.